Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create this looping star tunnel in Adobe After Effects. You will need to download After Effects 2021. So if you don't have that, what you can do is go to your Adobe Cloud and under your latest After Effects, just click right here and you can install other versions. So I have After Effects 18.0 and that's so we can use the echo effect. So let's just jump right in and get started. So I'm going to start by creating a new project file, new project. I'm gonna select new composition. I'm gonna rename this star tunnel. We're gonna set it at 1920 by 1080, 29.9 frames per second. And we're gonna set a 30 second duration. And we can keep the background black and just click okay. And then we're going to go to layer, new, solid. We're going to rename this BG. Same settings, 1920 by 1080. Click OK. Then we're going to add our shape layer. So we're going to go to layer, new, shape layer. We're going to come up here to our tools panel and select the star tool. And I'm just going to drag out a star in the composition. I'm going to switch back to my selection tool so I can recenter the star. The next thing you need to do is come up here and click on fill. Make sure that your fill color is none. And then stroke color, I'm going to set as a pink. And I'm going to set it at Uh, the stroke width to 2. The next thing we need to do is create a 3D layer. So with your shape layer selected, we're going to click the 3D icon. If you don't see that, just come down here to your toggle switches and modes and just make sure your 3D icon is selected. And then with the layer selected, we're going to hit P for position. Make sure that your time ruler is at the beginning of the time graph. And we're going to select the click on the stopwatch. We're going to drag our time ruler to about five seconds. And then we're going to drag the Z space. We're going to go to negative, roughly negative 2400. So I'm just going to drag this until the star is out of the composition. The next thing we need to do is create our loop expression. So we're going to hit the Alt key and hit the Alt key first and then click the stopwatch to open the expressions panel. And you're going to type in loop out. And you have to type it exactly like that with the O as caps. And then just click out of the expression panel. And this is going to create a loop for your star. Now with the shape layer selected, we're going to go to Effect, Time, Echo. Under Echo Time, we're going to bring this up to 1. And then Number of Echoes, we're going to bring up to 10. And now I'm just going to reposition this using my selection tool. So I think Number of Echoes, I'm going to leave at 10. And echo time, I'm going to bring down to 0.5. So the next thing I'm going to do is add an effect. I'm going to go to effect and presets, and I'm going to add colorama. So I'm going to type in colorama. And then I'm going to drag that into the shape layer. And then under input, input phase, I'm just going to shift this. And then under effects and presets, I'm going to add a glow effect. So I'm going to type in glow and drag that into the shape layer. I'm going to bring the glow radius up to 50 and glow intensity up to 10. Now with the background layer selected, I'm going to go to effect, generate, gradient ramp. I'm going to change the background color to a yellow. And then we're going to add like a star field. So I'm going to change that to yellow and I'm going to change the top color 
to like a purple color. And then over here under effects and presets, I'm going to type in starburst and drag that into the background layer. And then under starburst, I'm going to bring up the scatter to about 220. The size I'm going to bring down to 75. And then you can add a glow to your starburst as well. So under effects and presets, type in glow and drag that into your background layer. And the last thing we need to do is render our footage. So we're going to go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. And then you can pick whatever format you want. There's a few options to choose from, AVI, or um, you can also pick QuickTime. And then Output to just where you want to save it on your computer and just go ahead and select Render. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.